not even al-jihad fi sabil Allah. Yani the deeds, fasting, reading the Quran, was salat, the prayer on time, and everything else you do of the virtuous good deeds. This is much more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than al-jihad fi sabil Allah during these 10 days. My dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, what separates us between the best days of the world is only a few days. A few days are between us and the first 10 days of the blessed month of the Hijjah. These are days in which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, these 10 days are the most beloved days to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they are the best days of the world. You see, you and I, each and every single one of us, has moments in life which he considers the best days in his life. Perhaps the day you got married was the best day in your life. Perhaps the day you became a father or a mother, that was the best day in your life. Perhaps the day you graduated and finished school and began work, that was the best day in life. And everyone has best days in life. But the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying that these are the best 10 days in the entire world, in the entire life. Therefore, you're supposed to make something out of these days, a memorable experience so that you always reflect back on these days and say that the best days you had between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were these 10 days. My brothers and sisters in Islam, We've just finished from the blessed month of Ramadan, which was 30 days. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he spoke something about Musa alayhi salam. Before Musa alayhi salam met Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, before Allah azza wa spoke to Musa alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam was told to fast for 30 days. And then after the completion of 30 days, he was meant to go to the mountain and Allah Azza wa Jal would speak to him. But he changed the breath of his mouth by using a siwak as an ulama rahimahumullah state and mentioned in the tafsir. So Allah Azza wa Jal, he added on top of these 30 days, another 10 days. Musa alayhi salam was commanded to go and do another 10 days. So all up 40 days of fasting. By the end of those 40 days, he was ready to meet Allah Azza wa Jal and Allah Azza wa Jal spoke to him. And ulama rahimahum Allah, they said that 30 days were the days of Ramadan. And the 10 days, which now would make the 40 days, those 10 days were the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, which are these days that are about to commence and begin very soon. After these 40 days, Musa alayhi salam was ready to stand and speak and Allah Azza wa Jal speak to him. He was ready to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The idea, my brothers and sisters in Islam, is that once we have completed Ramadan and we're coming to these days, we need to take them seriously. The one who worships Allah Azza wa Jal in these days, the one who shows great concern in these days and seizes the opportunity and makes the most of them, is a person that now is ready to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now he's prepared to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, just to show you how incredible these days are and how virtuous and how honored these days are. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that there are no days. And he don't look for any other days. There are no days in which righteous deeds are more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the righteous deeds that are done during these days. These days are the most rewarding days in which you earn reward for your hasanat and for your good deeds. And what does this hadith basically mean? It means that the best, the best fasting you're going to do are in these 10 days. And the best Quran you're going to read and get reward for is reading during these 10 days. And the best sadaqah you're going to give during the entire year is going to be on these days. And the best Salat al-Fajr of the entire year is going to be during these 10 days. And yani these are the days in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. Allah azza wa jal rewards and gives double and triple up to 700 times of reward for each and every good deed that is done during these days. For then the companions, rahimahumullah, they said to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not even performing al-jihad fi sabilillah during the these 10 days, yani the deeds that are done, they are more beloved to Allah than al-jihad fi sabilillah. For Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, not even al-jihad fi sabilillah, yani the deeds, fasting, reading the Quran, was salat, the prayer on time, and everything else you do of the virtuous good deeds, 
This is much more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than al-jihad fi sabilillah during these 10 days. You know what that means. This is what it means. Many of the companions, they secured Jannatul Firdaus, the highest level in the paradise, through one hour of jihad that they did in their life. And this hadith is telling you that the deeds you do are much more beloved to Allah than al-jihad which earned many of the companions Jannatul Firdaus in an hour. In other words, how many opportunities and how many hours and hours and opportunities we're going to have in these 10 days to earn a place in Jannatul Firdaus. Don't waste these days, my brothers and sisters in Islam.